Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today we're going to look at the way you can transfer files back and forth between, in this case, a Cisco switch uh, and my computer. And the most common protocols we use to do that is TFTP and FTP. I've had a few people ask me, what's the difference? Uh, is one better than the other? The misconception and the myth is that TFTP is better. Why, you may ask? I'm glad you asked. Because it's UDP based and people say it's faster. You don't have quote unquote that overhead TCP does. So let's prove it. So here we go. I've uh, transferred a file from my Cisco switch to my computer using TFTP, that's this trace, and using FTP, that's this trace. So now we're basically going to take the same operation, in this case copying a file, and we're going to compare the results. And the easiest way to do that with Wireshark is to use some statistics reports. But before we get into that, I just want to show you something that we can do longhand. And that's just basically watching uh, the conversation TFTP versus FTP at a very, very high level. So we can see there's uh, already a few differences. In this case, we see TFTP sending something called a block. 558 bytes is the total size of it. And we can see a definite pattern of a block and an acknowledgement, and a block and an acknowledgement. So this is called a ping pong or PAR, positive acknowledgement with retransmission. And that's the way that TFTP is working. It has to do that because the application layer, TFTP, has to make sure that things aren't missing. Whereas with FTP, you can see we've got data, data, ACK, data, data, ACK, different pattern altogether. Now, the other thing that you've noticed or will notice is that the packet size, 558 versus 1514. Again, that's the TFTP default uh, block size of 512 bytes, whereas FTP will use whatever TCP will let it, and that's defined within the TCP maximum segment size that we see in the three-way handshake. So there it is. So right off the bat, we see a few differences. I don't know if that's good or bad yet, but those are good differences. We're going to move on to the statistics summary report, and here's this guy. And we're going to do the same thing with this guy, Statistics Summary Report. There we go. So now we can compare side-by-side -side FTP and TFTP. And we notice fewer packets on the FTP side of the fence, which makes sense because we're not getting an acknowledgement for every single packet. Whereas with TFTP, we get an acknowledgement for every single packet, plus the packet size is smaller, so resulting in far more packets. That also results in a longer transfer time. So we have 8.8 .8 seconds versus 18.6 seconds. Of course, the average packet size is going to be slightly different. Now, um, I think the key thing to note is in this case, we have a file being transferred, and you probably want to look at the average megabits per second. We end up with an effective throughput of 1.5 megabits per second for TFTP versus 3 megabits per second for FTP. So even though FTP... So in conclusion we notice that FTP ends up with a higher effective throughput because it sends more packets before an acknowledgement and the packet sizes are larger. Whereas TFTP sends a lot more packets each one being smaller. The other way to illustrate this would be with the statistics I.O. graphs. And when you do that, bring this guy over here, and I'll do the same thing with this guy, I.O. graphs. I'll bring him in here. And now we can compare them again. Um, let me just fight with this guy there we are. So we've got our packet rate. This is packets per tick, which is a second. So we can see this guy is cruising at about 300, 350 packets per second for FTP. And you can see that we're well over 600 packets per second for TFTP. So at the untrained eye, this gives you the impression, hey, look at all the traffic moving back and forth. Yeah, but that traffic is an acknowledgement for every packet plus smaller packets. So a more accurate way of looking at this would be to go to bits per tick and bits per tick. Now we can see there's 2.5 meg and there's 1 meg. So Again, TFTP isn't getting a lot of throughput. So I've just shown you two different ways of comparing a trace file using statistics summary and the statistics IO chart. Hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.